I didn't say say hallelujah. I said shout the loudest hallelujah. Amen. Please be seated. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I don't know whether you are expectant. I am expectant. Praise the Lord. And I know that your expectations shall not be cut off in Jesus' name. Say it better. Amen. amen. Praise God. Uh, I just want to... Um, uh, Dr. Jenny has been uh, introduced to you already. Uh, and uh, we have met, for those of you who have not met, the last time he came, maybe some of you were not around, that is mom's doctor, praise God. That is her, her a doctor for like uh, years, 20 years, yeah. So, and of course, my dad, when my dad was alive, he was also uh, the doctor, uh, family doctor, uh, where? Yeah. <laughs> praise God, <laughs> amen. And not only is he a doctor, but... He is he's a man of God. Hallelujah. He's a man of God and he's doing great things for the Lord. He has spoken to me about uh, some programs that are taking place that is cutting through uh, away from de denominations. Praise the Lord. Connections. And our, our daddy, uh, uh, our provincial pastor has been telling us and daddy, daddy Jew has also tell, told us that we should connect with other churches. Praise the Lord. So when he called me, and I believe the Lord led him, I I knew that this is this is this is God. Praise the Lord. You know, it is one thing for you to be looking for something, and it's another thing for something to look for you. Praise the Lord. So I think God just had grace upon me, just loves me, and just said, Dr. Jenny, go and meet that man. Praise the Lord. So I want to just give him five minutes to talk to us on that program. Amen. And before we go on uh, in, in, the, in the service, so I want to welcome Dr. Jenny and the wife also. Please come forward. I know she's coming very shy at times. Please put your hands together as they come forward. Hallelujah. Please come forward. Praise the Lord. If you clap better, they will come. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor Imadonwi, for inviting us. <laughs> And I'm, I'm happy to see all of you. And um, I, I'm so inspired by your service. There's so much spirit and power there. And this, even though uh, there's still many seats uh, to be filled up here, yes. but the, their spirits are all sitting there and yeah. they're working with them. <laughs> so, and soon there will be substantial uh, people. I, I want to see this so full that People have to stand all the way until Amen. outside. And um, I want to help you in this way as much as it is in my ability, but it's not my ability. It's God, it's Jesus, it's our heavenly parents who are going to do that. So as uh, Pastor Imadam, we mentioned, I'm uh, preparing for a program. And uh, actually, I'm the president of the Family Federation for World Peace in Austria. Uh, but this is an interreligious uh, organization, and uh, also uh, I'm doing this. We are doing this in our home to invite people from any kind of faiths and to read the scriptures of different uh, faiths and even philosophy or whatever to find out God's will. What is it for now, for our time? And uh, we are really living in a special time. We are living in a time of the second coming of Christ. It is now. It is happening. And uh, if you think about what, what is Jesus' desire for his, his body to be united. And uh, if you have a body and it is cut in pieces, how do you feel? So we have to understand Jesus' heart when he looks at his body. And uh, so that's why we want to bring build bridges between denominations. And not only if uh, when Christ comes again, would he come just for Christians? Or would he come for all people of the world? So definitely he wants all people to, to be saved, to, to be lifted up. And so we want to open the doors uh, to have an event uh, for any, anybody. But basically, of course, for those who believe in Jesus and who have the heart to, to go forward, to bring Jesus' message and Jesus' heart to the people. So that's why uh, on the 29th of April... We have an event in Wiener Stadthalle. You know, Wiener Stadthalle is very big. 
It has place for 12,000 people. And uh, we want to invite all of you, with your families, with your friends, to participate there. And we will have a choir of 1,000 voices. So if you, somebody likes to sing and join that choir, and uh, give praise to God right there in, in front. It's, we'll be, uh, it will take around two hours, and we will ha have people from all over the world, but all over Europe, definitely. It's a European event, and I hope you will be inspired uh, to, to come yourself. It, it will not be expensive. I think uh, tickets are not available yet, but it will be around 20 euros per person. If that is a problem uh, for somebody, please let me know. Uh, but I think 20 euro uh, for such an event should be possible. But uh, anyway, I hope uh, we can talk more with Pastor Oidi and Imad Oui about details. But uh, definitely, I want you to keep the the date <laughs> that you will have will make time to attend. I'm happy to hear that your uh, international event is earlier mm -hmm. uh, because you said you you might worry that it may coincide, but actually it's not. I'm very happy to hear that today. <laughs> And uh, one thing I was very inspired today, you said, uh, ask Heavenly Father to, uh, to make right choices and to reset. And this is what it is all about. Uh, we have uh, seen things from our viewpoint, from viewpoint of historical developments, but this is a time of change. And that's why this event will really make big impact on Europe, on Austria, and the whole world. And we did have an event like that already in the USA last year and it was really great. I can sh give you the link. Oh, Pastor Madoui has it already. And we had one in Africa just a month ago in January in Senegal and it was all uh, main from all African people, uh, nations, people came together, even s some uh, national leaders, presidents. And I know also our leader has met uh, Jonathan, good, good luck. <coughs> yes, he's now ex. <laughs> but at that time, in, in 2012, uh, they met and they had an event in, uh, in Nigeria at that time. But this time it was in Senegal. And uh, it was much bigger than the first one. So I can also show you the link to that. I, I anyway, I hope you will find in your heart uh, the openness to, to be to receive the message that Jesus wants to give to all of us. That at this time, it is the time of the second coming, but it may be in a different way than we all expect. So it is in our hearts that we can receive. Thank you very much for the time. Praise the Lord.